the solution is fully soaked in there. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're in for a treat today, and I know you're watching since you are down for some DIY beauty secrets. Love me some DIY beauty. I love skincare. I practically hoard them. Not as extreme as you would see on hoarders or other shows, but I do have quite a bit of skincare. I really just like trying things out and seeing what works for me, what doesn't work. I think that taking care of your skin is so important. You only have one skin, so it's better to just take care of it and taking care of it earlier than later is so important. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make DIY apple cider vinegar toner. I'll be trying this for an entire week. I'm really curious to see how my face is after the week is up. I hope that my skin will get better and my texture will get better as well and I'll have less breakouts. So I have combination skin, I have the oily T-zone, and the rest of my face is usually in the normal to dry range. I also find that it changes with the weather, so when it gets really hot, I get more acne, but when it gets super cold, like in the winter time, I basically get like one pimple the entire winter which is great, but my skin feels really dry at that time. Now that summer has rolled around, I have been getting more breakouts, more acne, more pimples, more everything. But I do find that drinking a lot of water helps. I drink a ton of water, and what works for me is that I drink water using a straw. I use a stainless steel straw, and I don't know what it is about straws, but I feel that I'm just drinking so much more water when I'm using a straw. I usually use a tumbler and I just keep drinking it the whole day. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down to my channel below. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get to it. So let's start by making the apple cider vinegar toner. We'll be needing apple cider vinegar, water, essential oil. I'll be using this Market Pantry apple cider vinegar. Start by putting in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar into your jar or container of choice. Now we'll be adding one cup of water and adding it to the apple cider vinegar. Now I'll be adding in some essential oil. I'll be using this lavender oil that my mom actually made for me. We actually gave this out as bridal shower favors at my bridal shower last year. Thanks mom for making this. Our solution is done, so I'm just going to give that a stir. So that is it with our solution. It's really easy and super fast to make. So now let's go try this. So I just wash and cleanse my face with the exception of my eyebrows. That is the only piece of makeup that I have on my face. I have some blemishes here and there. I also have spots around my chin area, around my nose, and some in my cheeks, and sometimes on my forehead, although I'm not getting some right now. So just various spots, depending on the time of month it is. I also find that when it's in the summer, I usually get more acne, but in the winter, my skin usually dries up and I don't really see much acne on my face. So it could be a weather thing too. We're all looking for some amazing skin, so hopefully this apple cider vinegar toner works out really well. I have my solution right here in my mirror, so let's go try this toner out. I'll be using these cut and rounds. I just ordered a bunch off of Amazon. You can also use cut and balls if you have those instead, but I'll be using these pads. I'll just be dipping this into the solution squeezing out the excess. Okay, so the solution is fully soaked in there. You can definitely smell the apple cider vinegar, but the lavender oil does a really good job of covering the scent up, so the apple cider vinegar scent is not very strong, which is great. I think you just have to get used to the scent. Oh, so nice and cold. I love toners. So I'm trying to swipe it up on my face being extra gentle on the eye area. I'm actually a big fan of this right now. It 
it's nice and cool. Okay, wait for it to dry. Some toners I've used in the past made my skin feel really tight. It actually feels really good. I also have some eczema on my neck, so I'm just gonna put the toner on my neck. Let's give this a try. Okay, so day one is done. I will see you guys tomorrow. So this is day two of me trying apple cider vinegar toner. So let's go do this. I was going to do it earlier in the day, but I figured that I'll just do it after I take a shower. Also, I keep the apple cider vinegar toner in the fridge and this helps it give it more of a cooling effect, which I really like. I love the cool feeling on my skin. It's so refreshing, honestly. The lavender really, really helps. Okay, so I just put it on my face and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone, this is day three of using apple cider vinegar toner. I wanted to give you an update of how my skin has been while using the toner for the past couple of days. I found that every time I use a toner, my skin feels that it is tightening after I use it. So it's definitely very functional as a toner if that is what you're looking for. Also, the blackheads on my nose have really decreased. Usually I have a ton of blackheads on my nose, so I'm really happy with the way that it's treating my blackheads. I can't wait to see at the end of the week how my blackheads are doing and whether they have fully disappeared. I still have some remnants of blackheads on my nose. And I highly recommend using the lavender oil. I don't mind smelling it, but if you're going to use it in the morning, you definitely don't want to be smelling like apple cider vinegar the entire day. So just put in a few drops of lavender essential oil and it should be good to go. Okay, so let's go use this thing. using the toner on my face and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Hi everyone! It is now day four. I feel that my skin has been super glowy these past couple of days. I haven't changed anything in my skincare routine, so this is the only thing that I've done differently. I really like how it makes my skin super glowy. So if the apple cider toner is actually making my skin glowy, I am a big fan of that. I got a pimple right there, so I just did my Neutrogena Light Therapy Acne Treatment. I created a review of this, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so let's go apply the toner. Also, what I like to do is that I take my makeup pad, then I put it into a half, so it's a half moon, then I fold it again, and I'm just going to wet a very small amount on the tip of this. I'm going to take this and dip it, then I'm going to squeeze out the excess. Time to put it on. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, hello. This is day five. Happy Friday, everyone. It's time to use the toner for the day. It's been a very busy week this week, so I'm really excited and looking forward to the weekend. So I will catch up with you tomorrow. Hello guys, I am back. So today is Saturday. It's so refreshing to do this. I just finished doing the apple cider vinegar toner. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello. This is day seven. We made it to the end of the week. Yay us. Hi.
Hi guys, so I wanted to share with you what I thought about using the apple cider vinegar toner. I've used it for the entire week and what I've noticed is that I feel that my skin has gotten a lot more glowing than usual. And I know that there could be so many factors but this is the only thing that I have changed in my skincare routine and I've never seen this glow so much and I'm a big fan of that. On my nose, I usually get a lot of blackheads but the blackheads have practically disappeared from my nose, so that's super awesome. I usually get a lot on my nose area all the time and having it disappear, it's just a really great feeling. It took me a while to get used to the smell of the apple cider vinegar, but having the lavender oil mixed with the apple cider vinegar toner, it really helps with the scent. So you don't smell the apple cider vinegar scent on your face as strongly as you would have without the lavender oil. In short, I really, really like this. Like this video if you like the results. Also, can we talk about how much does a little bit of apple cider vinegar make of the toner? You only use a very small amount of apple cider vinegar to make the toner and it lasts you for such a long time, so it's super cost efficient. It's not so much of a moisturizing toner, it's more of an astringent, so it really closes up your pores after you shower or wash your face. This is a huge bottle and I basically only use a very small amount amount of it every single day. You definitely save a lot of money if you use this toner. Here are some of the tips I have if you want to try this out. I really recommend using the lavender oil. It really helps with the smell. So I'd recommend just adding a couple of drops in there every week so it keeps the lavender scent in there. Another tip I have is to be gentle along the eye area. You definitely don't want any apple cider vinegar in your eye. So just make sure that you're extra careful in the eye area. Also, don't use the toner in places that you have eczema. I have some eczema on my neck, so when I used it, it made it worse. I also recommend keeping the toner in in the fridge so when you use the toner it's super cool and really refreshing to put it on your face. I think I'll be using the toner going forward since I really like it and I'm really happy with the results. Let me know in the comments below if you are planning to give this a try. Also please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers so it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe. I hope you like this video today and I will see you all next time. Bye! Bye.